Most of the Chinese defense equipment are copies from Russia, it feels something that is commonly heard, under the pretext of successful reverse engineering, ranging from machine guns, fighter jets, transport aircraft, various types of missiles, cannons, cannons, bombers, to alert tanks China, which has already penetrated the export market, predominantly came from the Russian design. And the unique thing is that so far it has hardly heard a complaint from the Russian industry over the piracy of this copyrighted work. But like the saying, now boils begin to break. Quoted from Asia.Nikkei.com, the Russian defense tycoon company, Rostec, for the first time accused China of illegally copying large amounts of Russian weapons and other military hardware. Producing without permission our equipment abroad is a big problem. There have been 500 such cases over the past 17 years, said Yevgeny Lividny, Rostec's chief of intellectual property projects on December 14. He added, China had copied a variety of aircraft engines, Sukhoi fighter jet designs, air defense systems, portable air defense missiles, man pads, and until most recently they had copied the Panzer air defense system. The complaints from the Russian industry arose when trade transactions between the two countries returned to development. Referring to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute CIPRI, report, Russia has so far been known as the largest supplier of weapons in China, especially in the period 2014 to 2018, about 70% of Beijing's weapons imports came from Russia. Even the most sophisticated Russian weapons are forbidden to be bought by China. Russia sold six of the S-400 anti-aircraft systems and 24 of Su-35 fighter jets to China in 2015 for 5 billion US dollars. Ironically, even though the manufacturers are inflamed, so far they have only been able to hold on to their anger. In fact Russia cannot reduce arms exports to China, especially in the near future. As is known, due to sanctions from the United States, Russia until now has difficulty selling mainstay defense equipment products to other countries. Not to mention, China is still needed by Russia as a partner of geopolitical and economic power. With the above conditions, then China seems to be a savior for the Russian defense industry which experienced a downturn. On a note, China has long imitated weapons products from Russia, as in the decade of the 90s, China bought Sukhoi Su-27 fighter jets and Russian S-300 missile systems. And then Beijing used it as a platform to develop J-11 fighter jets and headquarters 9 land-to-air missiles. reverse engineering without permission and blatantly, even in the future in Chinese exports, makes many parties worry about the future of the Russian defense industry. This then encourages Moscow to fight the theft, said Vadim Kozulin, director of the Asian Security Project at PIR Center. Russian Anticipation Russia has in fact adopted several strategies to stop the illegal practice. For example, Russia has insisted on guaranteeing anti-theft of copyrighted works and sales contracts, even Russia trying to get royalties from copies of Russian weapons made by China. But by some analysts, the move is far from effective and will continue to harm Russia. When viewed from the existing conditions, Russia seems to experience a condition of back-and-forth hit, the difficulty of marketing products under U.S. sanctions is one of the sticking points, as is the case of the procurement of Sukhoi Su-35 for Indonesia which in addition to protracted negotiations, also thick with the issue of countering America's adversaries through Sanctions Act, Kansa, of the White House. Source, Indomilitar. Thank you for watching my channel. This video is just an illustration. I hope you can understand it. Thank you my friend.